Some recent ventures, such as the planned coal plant, have been riddled with controversy, with local communities in Lamu and Kitui raising concern of a possible adverse environmental impact. Today, a host of non-government organizations, spiritual leaders and youth leaders were at the Catholic University of Eastern Africa as they sought to amplify the clean energy agenda. We are living at a typical point where the situation we are living in, we are affected as youths. We stand to say that we are bold, we are strong enough, we stand at our point to say that we rise for climate and we fight all the developments that are going to affect our climate. The leaders demanding that political leaders take bold action on environmental protection. We have to tell the politicians to come up with policies that will protect our environment. We have to tell our leaders to take up responsibility. And also we have to be good role models for the future generation. The team says global mobilization will ultimately strengthen the message to national governments that the energy transition is necessary and achievable. Why are we interested and so much obsessed with, uh, with this lamb coal, whereas we can produce even more than enough uh, uh, energy through the vast geothermal resources which we have? Organizers are planning to advance the message later this year at the United Nations climate change negotiations in Poland that seeks to have global players commit to revise their national climate plans by the year 2020. <laughs>